I'm not a gardener. That's my wife's area of expertise. She understands colour and shape and form and habit. But apart from enjoying what she's created, my role in the garden has become looking after the wildlife. So I'll give you a tour of what that looks like. And we start with the important things in life. So water on the ground and raised up a little bit for the birds to drink and to bath in. A little bit of leftover um, hedgehog food there I see from the night before. And then of course food for the birds as well. So we've got a variety of nuts and seeds and so on hanging from this um, old and much abused holly tree. And one of the things that's always being said on Gardener's World is that we shouldn't get too tidy in our gardening. So if we have a little peek behind the bamboo, you'll see a whole pile down there of, um, well, bits and pieces that I've never put through my shredder or onto the compost. But it makes a nice little pile for things to live in. And if we track round, past this amazing blossom that's in the ornamental cherry at the moment um, then we can see a little bit more of what's around um, for the animals and birds and insects and so on so we're going past a lovely solitary tulip there grape hyacinths and bluebells now coming up which is wonderful and the narcissi have actually been great this year as well a um, few more tulips. The camellia, I think, has had its best year in flower. And then we're around to the next feature, which is the wildlife pond. Um, there haven't been fish in this pond for many, many years now. I've devoted it to, um, to wildlife. And again, following a Gardener's World suggestion, at least I think it was Gardener's World, um, I've put a couple of logs in there, weighted down at one end uh, with a large brick just to create passage, easy passage in and out. Um, you'll notice over there on the far side, if we can just have a little look at that for a while, um, the marginal area over there has been hollowed out and that's just birds taking material for building nests and so on. Um, and it's the same on the other side all the way down to the stones that were um, originally there just to weight things down. They've just hollowed it all out. Magnolia petals on the pond at the moment. Looks rather nice. The pond is a little bit raised above ground, so of course we have to provide a way in and out. So I've built a ramp here. It's basically um, old logs and so on underneath with a plastic sheet and then some turf on the top and I made it hollow underneath. I'm not sure whether you can see that. Um, so there's a, um, a tunnel goes in there and then a really old and rather dilapidated uh, terracotta pot, large pot, sits at right angles to that at the far end. I was sort of hoping hedgehogs might use it but nothing so far. And then we're back again to a pile of things that won't go through my shredder. Um, prunings of various sorts just piled up here uh, and they make a great place for um, for insects and so on uh, and amphibians to hide in and forage in. Uh, we actually see mice coming out of that periodically. And then out of all sorts of um, scraps of wood and bits and pieces I've made nesting boxes. So there's a whole series of these boxes around the fencing, uh, mostly for blue tit, although there's a couple of open fronted ones which um, robins can use. And although we probably won't be able to see it very well uh, from here, um, so I won't bother showing you, um, we've got swift boxes and house martin uh, nests and so on right up high under the, um, under the eaves of the building. So that's it, my wildlife contribution to the gardening.